as you can see, I've got that little Steinel mill, if you can see, because this thing's bouncing everywhere. I'm headed home. As you can see, I've got that little Steinel mill, if you can see, because this thing's bouncing everywhere on the back. It's time to get back in the swing of things. Got a lot of work done at my son's farm. Still got a lot of work to do, but we'll uh, we'll get to that as we can. I actually need my shop up and going. Do some things to uh, 1952 Ford tractor. Pardon me. It's a uh, 1949, I think it is. Ford track. It's a Jubilee model anyway. Little, it's a hybrid of Ford and Massey, I think. But anyway. Appreciate you guys tuning in to watch. We'll try to uh, get some better shots of it. And we'll do uh, do some videos on it. Get it cleaned up, set up. It seems to be in real good shape. I was even able to get a manual online for it. The only thing I don't have for it is an arbor and an arbor bush. So I'll have to get or make that. Got a lot of work to do on one, two, three, four. What I've got now that I'm going to try to set up in the shop is the Enco lathe. I wish I could find an American-made lathe that I could afford. The Burke vertical mill. The only problem with, with that vertical mill is it does not have the uh, drill press type quill in it. It's got a fine feed quill, so you can't do, really can't do drilling and, and threading with it. The, uh, I've got the surface grinder. Shouldn't be much wrong with it. I could use it for a while without doing anything to it. Sorry, got my finger in front of the lens. The um, mill drill. Shouldn't have to do much to it. And then this horizontal mill. So I should be set in my shop for what I need, for what I'll be doing. All right, guys. Appreciate you. Talk to you later. Well, I just got home with it. My rowdy dog here. Patch is no longer with me. He disappeared and we never did find out what happened to him. But just got home with the Steinel. I think that's how it's pronounced.
a little smaller than the Clausing 8540. 